zero, he says, because this is equal to that, you can definitely do that. Very good. I like that. Thank you. All right, now I run, what are these? Maxes, mins, saddle points. So I'll erase all this. We got our critical points, right? There were four of them. Let's go to the determinant. Oh, great. I just erased fx. I needed that to get fx up. So what was fx again? There's fx. And fy is just this one. I don't need to do this determinant. Look what I need. I need fxx, and I need fxy, and I need fy1. So what's fxx? 6x. What's fyy? What's the derivative of that with respect to y? 6x. Nice. And what's fxy? Remember, you can do fxy, you can do fyx. I'll do fyx. I get 6y. fxy is also what? Do you all agree? fxy is the same as fyx. You can do either one of those to get that. I do them both just to make sure I did it right. All right, let's put it in a formula. What is it? Determinant equals fxx, fyy, minus fxy, all what? So this is 6x. FYY is 6y minus 6x So far, so good. Hey, you want to write this again? Might as well. What is that? 36xy? Go ahead. This is FYY 6xy. Oh, you're the best. What was that? FYY right there is a. What was this again? Just 6x, right? So this will become 36x squared, thank you so much, minus, oh, this is the what? I had these switched around, I apologize. So 36x squared minus 36y squared. And this is the determinant. What do we do with all these points? Plug them in. All right, you ready? Zero, three. Mm -hmm. What happens with the determinant? Uh, that's negative. negative. So guess what it is? I'm just going to put SP for set up point. There's a set up point at the point zero, three. How about zero, negative three? Determinant's also one. I love set up points because you don't have to do anything else. It's the other ones you got to do more. Is it negative again? <laughs> so, how about three zero? That's positive. All right, now these positive. So we got to go back over here. So we got to retain this. And what I always do is, you know, I'm going to forget this on the test. I just think it concavity. If the term is positive, think, well, center of the positive concave up. That didn't give me a minute. So I run. When you go back in here, here's the fxx. At 3, 0, what's going on with this fxx right here? I'll put a big yellow marker on it. What's so going on here? That's greater than fxx zero. is also what? Greater than 0. Greater than 0. So what's going on at 3, local, 0? Local mint. There's a local mint. I'll just put mint. You can just put mint if you want. Local mint. What's going on at negative 3, 0? Determinant's positive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But what's going on at FFX? FXX? Local max. FXX is less than zero, give me a local max. Local max. Cool. Hey, um, it's okay for me on the test if you say there's a local min here, local max here, set of points here, or just write it like I just did here. But you will see like in the textbook, if they talk about what the local max is, that wording. The local max of f is, you know what they would say? They got to plug these two numbers here back into the what? The original function. Do you all agree? If you use the verb is, you're talking about the z value. Right? You're talking about z value. So if you wanted to write it like that, the local max of f, it occurs at 3, 0, but what is it? You'd have to plug negative, I mean, negative 3, 0. You'd have to plug the negative 3 and a 0 back into the 
original function, which is it easy to do? That's eh, not bad. What would it be? I'm just curious. Welcome back to that. It occurs at the point what? Negative three zero, and is. You want to help me plug this in? Just in case someone's curious, it would be. What's negative three cubed? Negative twenty-seven. Negative twenty-seven. Plus, then, plus 81. Because negative 27 times a negative 3 is plus 81. Plus, plus uh, 3 times. That's only 0, actually. That's just going to be 0. So what's that all that come out to be? 54. But you don't have to do that. You can, I'm, what I'm saying for me, I'm just, just to save time, you're like, hey, there's a local max occurring here. There's a local min occurring here, and you got two set of points at these points. Cool. Hey, awesome. And I'll make sure even tomorrow when we start, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Because this one, I want a great problem, but I want to make sure when you do the practice set, and feel free to do it tonight, that you can do one like number 22 plus. I didn't do one like number 23. This is the application of this. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Hey, so we'll be great tomorrow. And when we just got to finish up. A couple more 14 sevens and 14 eights. Isn't that cool? So there'll be definitely time for what? Any last questions about practice sets? Unless you want to bolt early? 14 eight won't take all time.